Oh my god! What's up guys? Today we're doing some inshore saltwater trolling. We've been trolling for a little bit, but I just hooked up to my first fish and don't know what it is yet. See what it is. But today is an exciting day. We gotta go to a party later on. A graduation party. That's, so that should be fun. But we figured we'd get a little bit of fishing in before the big event. And I've got a bluefish that did not jump. Alright. She did not jump. She usually jumps all over the place for us. Nice fish. My favorite lure. Favorite lure. Alright, I'm going to get them off, put it back out. This is the time of year we catch some snook. So we're looking to catch a nice Hopefully a slot, that's probably not gonna happen, but I'll take any snook. Show me your biceps. Come on. Nobody wants to see my biceps. Uh, yeah, I do. Show it. <laughs> Make a muscle. Whoa, welcome to the gun show. <laughs> this hand's better because I'm left. Whoa, push it out in the sun. Push it out. Whoa. <laughs> You're silly. No. Those are fish fighting biceps. Whoop! Oh. Fish on! Oh, oh. Looks like it just came off. Is it on or off? He's on? He's on? Oh, he's gone. So we're just out here bass, out, we're not bass fishing. We're out here, um, we got a graduation party later, so like we said, we came out to do some fishing. It's blowing like 20 knots. We're having a nice little morning time. This is, this is about the time of the season when the, we start catching the snook on the inshore troll uh, back here in this secret spot. And uh, so I don't know what's going to happen today or not. The bite seems a little slow, but we got a good current and good times with good, good folks. Yep. All right. Got a little cooter. Woo! All right. Cooter in the boat. Uh, this is a little guy, you know, that they get to like up to six foot long. Huge, massive fish, and this guy is very small. Um, probably a little on the small side to eat too, but I would eat a cuda if he was a little bigger. They're actually pretty good. They're a little bit bony, but um, overall they're a good fish to eat. And he's got a lot of teeth. Let's see if I can get him off. I'm lucky he didn't cut off my lure. Yeah, that's a good fish. All right, don't know what I've got here. Took a nice little run. I think it might be a jack, it's staying down deep. Ooh, it's really windy. I'm gonna try to talk a little um, talk a little higher, but snook usually jump, bluefish usually jump, they usually put on a great show, and barracuda do too. And that last fish I caught, I thought it was a snook, ended up being a barracuda. They like to jump a lot when you hook them up. And this is a Hanta rod. Um, this is the Hanta Hybrid 70S. And we just started using these rods. We really like them. A Hanta rod sent us a couple pairs to try, and I actually really like it. Oh, he side hooked. That's what happened. All right, I got a jack. I knew it. He got a little side hooked on the pool, so that's why he was pulling a little weird. Little jack. Put him right here. He's all messed up. Who's got two thumbs and a hot girlfriend? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird. You gotta turn around. You're silly. You gotta turn around. Okay. <laughs> now you're really weird. I'm out of gear. Very little. All right. Hopefully we can land him. That would be nice. Show you guys a snook. You haven't been catching a snook in a while. I think the last snook we caught was like back in September or something like that. So. Would be nice to get one. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, we did catch a couple snook um, Thanksgiving weekend with my family, and that was Juan, my brother-in-law's first snook. Oh, he's hanging. Whew. All right, he's a little guy, so we're just gonna get him off. But at least you guys can see a snook, and then um, we will go ahead and release him. Let me get him. No, no, no. Yeah, just over here. No, no, no. Pick him up. Pick him up. No. Cool. Barely on. Watch my fingers. Why give me any slack? Hold on. Slack. Very nice. Okay, you got him. 
You're hooked. Your pants are hooked. Okay. So we got the snook in the boat. It only took uh, three hits from a snook to finally catch one and bring him in. He's probably the smallest of the two other ones that I hooked. I saw them jump. They were good sized ones. But he's cute. He's definitely going to grow big, become a monster snook one day. But at least we know that the snook are in the area that we like to catch him this time of the year. And um, he's very cute. He was barely, whoa, whoa. All right, we're going to take a picture with him and get him right back out so he can grow big. When you are close to the fishing action and a snook slaps your camera in the lens and you get scales on your camera. Slow down. That's a fish. Oh, that's a big old jack. He's running up this way. All right, let's start getting lined up. This one's way far out. All right, not sure what we got here. But um, the tide is starting to slow down, the current not moving that fast. So we figured we'd just give it one more troll, see what would happen. Ooh, it is running. We might have to chase it. All right, so we decided to give it one more troll and sure enough, hooked up to a fish. Not really sure what we've got, but we've got a nice fish on. We need to turn that way. Go front. Okay. Oh my god! Nice fish! Oh, no, no, no. I, I just slacked off on it. I dropped it back when I was reeling him in because I knew he'd take another run. Just watch us so all going into the... He's not done. Oh man, all right. Not much more pressure. I think we got a monster jack crevall on. I think we need to chase it because the boat's getting blown. But um, I think it's a monster jack. Not really sure he hasn't jumped or anything. Man, he's not giving up. Not giving up. I think it's a big old jack. Just haven't seen it yet. So now, oh my gosh, it's a huge snook. It's a huge snook. He can't jump, he's so huge. Get the net, get the net, get the net. Get the net! Alright, relax, relax. Oh my gosh. Relax. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a monster. You know, he's not going to fit in the net. You need to get your gloves. Get your gloves. Giant, giant, giant. Not going to fit in the net. Oh my gosh. He's over 40. All right. I'm not joking, babe. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Alright, alright. Oh my god. I can't relax. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Dude, he's huge. Look at his fins. Look how huge. This is incredible. Now we can only land him. For some reason, big snook do not jump. And so I thought we had a jack on. Oh my gosh. This fish is huge. I'm not joking. So we got to land him. He's about 20 foot away from the boat. Brian's got his gloves on. He's not going to fit in our net. He's so big. So we're really gonna just try to bring him into the boat. Brian's got his um, chest can on, so hopefully you'll see this. Monster. I don't wanna wear him out too bad. No. I don't wanna break him off either, it might be deep. It's huge, babe, it's huge. He's right. like, the girth on this thing is huge. I got a problem, crash it. Oh my God, check him Back out. Back it up, back it up. Go, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me get him on this side away from the engine. Holy crap. We got a problem. You gotta try forward or something. Alright, go forward to the left. Oh my god, that's the biggest fish we've ever caught. Bring him in. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Check him out. Dude, that's like a 50 incher. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's incredible. Better look at him. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna hold up, measure him. Okay? You're gonna measure him real quick. Okay, I'm measuring this snook. Let me get this out of your way. It's a freaking monster. 
Darcy can't do it. Too big. Holy I crap. Bet. He's 42. Hold on. Dude, he's, he's like just over 42 inches. Right. That's the biggest snook we've ever caught on our boat. Dude, how much does the thing weigh? I don't even know. It's, I can't, it's heavy, man. Oh, <laughs> All right. but this fish put up one heck of a fight. Just look at the girth on this thing. Hold him up. She's truly a monster. Oh my god, I can't even hold her. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me adjust. It's okay. Let me adjust. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lift her up too much. Dude, look at this fish. Look at this fish. I'm supporting her here, but I really can't get her vertical or horizontal. She's just a true giant. I mean, this is incredible. The current's dying. See if I can get her turn. Oh my god, dude, look at this mouth! Holy crap, this is just a whole monster. I can't get over it. Truly incredible fish. What a way to end graduation! Whoa, dude, so basically, I'm just working her back and forth in the water, like I've mentioned in a lot of my videos, just making sure the mouth is open and making sure water's getting through her gills. Wow. Okay, she's starting to kick real good now. She's gonna go. I just wanna show you this mouth. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Just truly a monster and the girth. I mean, look at my hands. Like she's just so big. I can barely hold her. All right, I'm gonna let her go here in the next few seconds. Watch her swim away. Wish we had a little bit of sun so you guys could see her a little better in the water. What a monster. All right, I'm gonna let her go. Here we go, I'm just gonna push her head down. Ow, let go, let go, I'm trying to let you go. There she goes, down to the deep. What a monster. <sighs> All right, that was awesome teamwork. Catching a fish like that, you really can't do that on your own, really can't. And those treble hooks on that pink Azuri literally got buried, like embedded in her mouth. And Brian had to pick her up out of the water. She wasn't even big enough to fit in the net. Once we got her out of the water, we had to get our big old shark cutters because I had nothing else on the boat to cut the, the hooks off. It was just buried. So Brian cut the barb off. We were able to get the hooks out, no problem. And then we got her right back in the water. Took one picture with her, got her right back in the water. But that's like a fish of a lifetime, guys. And I just talked about that big snook we caught in September was a 41. That was a 42 and that fish Oh, like that fish killed <laughs> that fish made that other fish look so small. Um, it was huge Just had so much weight to it monster healthy snook and those big girl females That's what they are the big fish like that snooks are females and the males are very small They're about I don't think they get much bigger than like 25 28 inches so females get twice the size of the males incredible fish. I am so happy What do you have to say? That was awesome. Happy, happy wife is a happy life. You didn't like that fish? <laughs> I love the fish, but yo, know, good fish. It's awesome when you catch a dinosaur. Like my adrenaline is pumping now. And I just thought I was fighting a jack the whole time, but thank God I kept that drag just a little less tight because it took like three monster runs. Man, and you never know what it is to you bring to the boat. That's all I got to say. I took a couple of Santa hat pictures, changed my bottoms because I wanted to match my Santa hat. You gotta do what you gotta do when you're a full-time fisher girl. All right, he's gonna go home. He's really active. Little 25 inch snook. Whoa, he's active. All right, all right. See? All right, we are at the big family event. I'm gonna show how much filming I'm gonna be doing in there. Probably just gonna use the camera to take pictures. But uh, we had a great day, morning fishing and then we were running around like crazy. So we had to run right up here. Sorry, I didn't do any transitions or wrapping it up. But uh, Darcy's getting all ready and then we're going in. This is, this well, is hungry again. This is gonna take a second. I'm sorry. I have fast metabolism. I'm hungry every hour on the hour. Coming closer. I might eat this bunny. <laughs> don't bunny. eat my oh, bunny. No. Oh no! Please don't. Oh, no. Pay attention. Pay attention. Oh, crap. Look right here. Jumped. 
Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Wait, all right, all right. Why would you do that? Calm the bunny down. I him. I have a calm heart. You need him. <laughs> My heart is like a is a hummingbird. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> think like Darcy. Think like Darcy. Oh be God. pretty. Be pretty like Darcy. Be pretty like oh Darcy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just stop. Be pretty like Okay. Darcy. All right. Today was absolutely an excellent day. I caught that slob, 42-inch snook this morning. That was truly like an incredible fish, fish of a lifetime, and it was the best graduation gift, I could say. And then I had an awesome day at my graduation party with my family, and my cousin Nicole also graduated, so it was awesome. I also get to see my sisters. This is Erin. Hi. This is Megan. They're both twins, and uh, this is Blitz. Hey, Blitz. And they're going to be hanging out for the night, hanging out. I never get to see them, so it's just been a great day overall. I want you guys to check out a couple of my videos because I know you're going to have questions about how I caught that snook today. Please check out, I'm going to link it below, um, how to inshore troll saltwater, how to inshore saltwater troll for snook and other fish as well. I'll have that down below. And also another video, A to Z inshore saltwater fishing with all the gear that I use in order to catch these big fish, like the one we did today. So check that out, description below, related videos. And we'll be back tomorrow with another adventure. So until next time, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs> Bye.